Andrew. Right, we are in the kitchen to cook up some fresh goodness. We invite Ryan Taylor from Food Market here, uh, and we challenge you to cook with fresh ingredients. So, what is springing the garden right now? So right now, springing the garden is spring onions. We get these spring onions from a lady named Celia. She's an organic farmer. Just actually moved from Atlanta. She was buying the best restaurants in Atlanta. Now she's here, and we're to grow the fruit for later. This like a on steroids, I said, but you said that incorrect. They're all natural. Yeah, they're all natural. <laughs> <laughs> no steroids here. No, they're, they're not like a scallion. They're really sweet okay. and and light onion flavor. Um, I just I, I just take them, take the bulb, and quarter them, and uh, saute them up really nicely. But what we're gonna cook tonight uh, today is um, I've got some farro cooking. Farro is a nice uh, ancient grain. It's got, what you do is just just simmer That's in a little gorgeous. water. Yeah, just simmer it in a little water for about 20 or 30 minutes. With a little salt. It's a nice chew to it. I love it. But what we're gonna do is saute. Asparagus. The, these are just from Watsonia Farms. Huge. Huge. Yeah. So you always cut the, the bottom end or two off because it gets a little woody. Um, but I try not to do too much to it. Gorgeous. All right. So what are you gonna make? So um, so I, I, ch I cut these um, the little uh, corn sizes. I suppose. So I'll tell you a little bit of ghee. Ghee is healthy fat. Uh, I know this, you, you've taught me what ghee was. Yeah. Yes, I know what ghee is. Yes, I've, I've, I've already started this uh, the commercial break. So it's got a nice little color on it. Okay. Just about ready. What I'm going to do is add a little sumac. Sumac is a Mediterranean herb that a lot of times you'll find in, uh, in Zephyr. It's a very lemony zinc I to it. it. Yeah, it's so good. This is what it looks like, by the way, the sumac. And um, it really does have a great delicious oh, flavor to it. We add, but what else are we adding? A little bit of chopped thyme. Okay. Just to keep things nice and fresh tasting. You don't want to fresh too much. If you cook it much, the fresh when you cook it much, the flavor, the flavor basically evaporates. Okay. So now you can kind of smell it. Those it smells uh, amazing. Okay, so what we're going to do, I'm going to take some of this farro. And you have some, yes, and you at Elizabeth Market now, you have some gorgeous trout from North Carolina. You actually have this exact dish. It's our special for tonight. So if you really want to try it, right now, just run over to Road Market and How ready for you. Uh, it's about 15 bucks. Okay, what do you um, get for 15 dollars? For 15 bucks, you get the farro, you get everything that you see here. Okay, and then she's yeah. in the trout. Yep. Should I put trout on the top? Not yet. Oh, yet. So oops. I'm going to put a little bit of arugula in there. Arugula is really kind of a spicy herb. But you see how it's, I'm not, I'm not really cooking. I'm taking the pan off the heat. I'm just going to wilt it a little bit. You almost like a warm, cook really yeah, quickly. so it's almost like a warm salad. And I'm making in with all those herbs and the, and the ghee. That's gorgeous. Yeah. If you don't have ghee at home, what do you suggest to cook instead of olive oil? Olive oil, okay. That's a little bit of that. Or would this be a good thing to make with coconut oil? Because it would make the veggies oh, yeah. more coconut and delicious. Absolutely. Mm, this so looks amazing. That. Now the trout. Now the trout My on favorite top. that you always bring the pink. You love it. Himalayan. Is your what is it called Himalayan again? Himalayan sea, sea salt. salt. Yeah, right. Okay. It was close. Throw a little bit on uh, there. And then finally, you have special green sauce that you said you all make at Rosewood Market. I do. It's, it's called a maturi sauce. It's traditional Argentinian sauce. It's usually cooked with grilled meat. Okay. Um, it's a sauce of cilantro, parsley, garlic, and a little bit of uh, olive oil and vinegar. And it's so, gorgeous. A little bit. I actually got it in the season here. Mm. And I just like to dot it around the plate. That is there you so go. pretty. Look at the gorgeous dish with all the things that are fresh. We didn't get to mention our strawberries, but yes. you don't have to go out to Coral Farms pick them. Actually, yeah, have them. Yep. have them every single week, seven days a week. Actually, twenty percent all day is be Saturday, so come in like and that. get twenty percent off your strawberries. Oh, you will get a discount on Saturday, so make sure you have to